Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to get this image onto the front of this dresser and make it look awesome. Alright, so here I am over in our shop. As you can see, we have pieces over here from painting project pieces to stuff going to the upholsterer to all kinds of stuff. I um, hope the traffic, the road noise is not too loud out there. But when you're looking for a piece to uh, transfer an image to, like we're going to do in this video, you want to find a piece that is completely flat, that doesn't have any detail. Uh, that's what's great about these kind of mid-century, more modern pieces, is they have those clean lines and not a lot of detail. That's exactly what you want when transferring image, so you're able to get the image transferred on there. You don't have to work through a lot of detail. So let's get it over into the back of the store and uh, get to work. All right, so the first step in this process is to paint our piece. Now, if you notice in the original image, we're gonna transfer onto the front. The surrounding color, pretty much the base of the image, the color is white. So I'm gonna paint the piece white. And we're gonna, the brand is Maison Blanche, the vintage furniture paint we're gonna use, and the color is Maison White. So let's go ahead and do a base coat over our whole piece and then we will transfer our image. Now that I've sanded down my entire piece so I have it really nice and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and I've prepped my image. Now to talk a little bit about the paper and the image. We have a wide format printer that allows us to print this ourselves, but don't let that stop you if you don't have one. You can go to any office supply store, I've done it before at Staples, before we had our wide format printer, and they would print it for you. They'll print it on a like graph paper they do for architects, architectural paper, so they can print the wide formats and it's not very expensive. I've done some before that were two, three foot wide by four and five foot long and they were like eight or ten dollars. Now here I went ahead and measured each piece starting from the bottom, which was the bottom of my image. I measured each drawer and from there I cut each drawer and I lay them all out to make sure they fit. Everything's lined up perfect. So now I'm ready to go ahead and transfer my image. To attach your image to your piece of furniture, today I'm gonna to use uh, Mod Podge, the matte version. All right, once you have sanded down your piece, you'll wanna take a damp rag and go ahead and wipe it down just to remove any of the uh, like paint that you've sanded off, any of the dust on there, just to make sure you have a nice clean surface. Now shake your Mod Podge well, and then I'm just going to apply it with a chip brush. My brush won't fit in there. So I'm just going to apply a good amount over the surface of my drawer. You want to make sure and get all your edges really well, that way your image doesn't try to peel up around your edges, that you have all your edges coated really well with your Mod Podge. All right, now I'm gonna take my image, my whole piece of paper, and I want the image facing up, facing towards me. Make sure you have it in the right piece, in the right direction. I'm gonna start at the bottom of the drawer and lay it down and then go up with it. Making sure it's level with the bottom of my drawer. And then once I'm satisfied with the position of it, then I'll go ahead and start pressing it down. I'm also going to use this wallpaper tool right here to go ahead and smooth out my image and work the excess Mod Podge out from underneath the image. It's always handy to have some paper tiles lying around. So just go ahead and keep squeegeeing out the excess glue, cleaning off around the edges. And here when I cut my paper, it actually hangs off a tiny bit off the edge, and that's fine, because I'm going to show you next how we're going to take care of any of that paper hanging off the edge. Now I've transferred all of my images onto my drawers, as well as I did this small little piece of trim back here on the very bottom of the drawer, or the dresser. Remember that trick I was telling you about, about if you have a little bit of paper hanging over your edge like I do here, I like, do like to have the paint bleed over to the edge. The trick to get that off is actually sanding it. So I have my same sanding block that I used earlier, and I'm gonna go around the edge in the same direction as the edge of the, the drawer, and I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm not going like this at all. 
is that I want to pull the paper up. I'm just sanding the edge back and forth like this. And what it does is just sands that paper in two so your, the piece that hangs over the edge falls off and then it gives you a really natural fade and an edge to your piece. The next step, after I have sanded all my edges and distressed the main dresser, I just slightly distressed the edges just where it would naturally be worn, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using Maison Blanche Dark Wax. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the dark wax or the light brown wax. So what I did was I came right here to the corner and I do this a lot of times on a piece that's like, I don't know how dark I wanna go, if the dark brown is gonna to be too dark and I wanna use a light brown. So let me go ahead and apply a little bit of dark wax to the corner to see how dark it applies and if I like the look or not. And I really did like the look of the dark wax on the paper. It ages it, kind of tones it down from the really bright color, gives it a little bit of a brown look. So I'm gonna go ahead now and go around and apply the dark wax all over my image I transferred. And I'll just apply it on. And I have other videos uploaded that teach more and go more into detail on applying wax. So I'll go and apply wax to the drawers and wipe it off. And as you can see, it tones down the colors, kind of blends them together a little bit more where it's not just so bright. Um, gives it a little more age and I think makes it look more natural, kind of like an old piece that was painted a long time ago and just kind of gives it a little more patina on there. So I'll go ahead and do this to all the drawers as well as the main body of the dresser and we'll be back to show you the next step which is going to be to put a sealer over the piece. Now that we've applied our dark wax to all of our drawers and our dresser, the final step to do is to apply a coat of polyacrylic or polyurethane. Uh, this is a water, it's made by Minwax. It's a water base called polyacrylic. And this is a, this one's actually satin. I'm gonna go grab one that's actually matte. We hadn't realized this is actually a satin finish. But I always use a matte finish just because there's no sheen. I feel like on aged furniture, it's gonna have a more dull matte finish. So um, I'll apply this on just with a regular, this is a Purdy brand angle brush. I will apply the sealer. I like to do that on a piece like this just because since we do have the paper that we transferred onto the drawers, it will provide that extra layer of protection just so no edges peel up or if somebody was to bump into it with something sharp, it wouldn't necessarily scratch it or scratch the paper. And I will only apply this to the drawers. I won't apply it to the whole piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and we'll be back and I will show you the finished product. Well, the piece is back together and I thought it turned out great. It's amazing what printing out an image for a few dollars and a few hours worth of work can do to a piece like this. Now to talk a minute about images. I purchased this image off of Shutterstock. Um, you can go there and purchase the image too. I'll put a link in the description. You want to be careful if you're doing this to sell you need to make sure you purchase the extended license or the rights to sell your product that you use the image on. Just be careful on that if you do use this and you sell it, that you purchase the right license and give credit where credit is due. So I hope you learned something and let us know if you have any questions. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of stuff, how to's, behind the scenes vlogging, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If there's any other videos you'd like to see, put that in the comment section below and we'll see what we can do to fix you up. So I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Design has been such an important part of our lives for so many years now. Our mission here on our channel is to inspire you to style a home you love with items that have a history and help create your unique story. Hi, we're Matt and Heather Hallam with Pers